this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom header using Elementor. Let's get started. Welcome back to another DIY virtual tutorial showing you how to do things online in a no jargon way. If you have never heard of Elementor, it's a website drag and drop builder. It's one of the simplest easiest and user-friendly uh, plugins for WordPress on the market, in my opinion. Um, I have used Elementor for well over, I think, a year and a half, two years now. I've built uh, probably a little over 100 websites using it, and um, it's just it's just a great tool to use to help you build things. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard. If you've not got Elementor, just click the link in the description and you will be taken to the Elementor website. And of course, if you want to download the uh, header I build in this web in this uh, tutorial, then again, the link will be found on my blog for you to download it. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's head over to templates and theme builder so right now we're in the theme builder let's go ahead and click add nil and here we're going to select header and now let's name this header and click create template so what you'll see now is you've got a bunch of um pre-made headers for you um but i'm not actually going to do that i am um, I am just going to click the X here and I'm going to now start building. So what sort of navigation do I want? Well, ideally, um, I'm just going to have a fairly simple one. I'm going to have the logo to the left. I'm going to have the menu to the right. I'm going to have a top bar and I'm going to have a little bar underneath the main bar. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that I want to do is create the top bar. So I'm going to click the new uh, section, click on the section, and I'm going to change the background color to, uh, let's just go with about here, okay? And now I'm going to add some text into it. So let's head over here and drag this in. Now the text is currently black, so let's change that color to white. And let's center it. And let's just say something like, um, uh, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to change the font uh, just by doing something like Source Sans Pro. And I also want to take away a lot of this spacing. So let's go ahead and click the edit column and um, get, head over to advance. Just get rid of all that padding. And again, click on section. And uh, I'm just going to move my camera uh, to the right just so it's out of the way. Um, and let's see, go into advanced here, just get rid of all of the padding we can. Click on edit column again and let's align the text in the middle. Uh, it may not look like it, but let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So click the publish button, add condition and we want to apply it to the entire site. Now, if you don't want to apply it, apply it to the entire site, and let's just say you only want to apply it to um, a singular, so you'd select singular, and then you can see all these options here, so front page, post, category, and what's a really nice thing, if you just wanna, let's say, apply it to certain posts, then you'll just do posts in category or whichever posts have a certain tag on. If you want to apply it to pages, click on pages and then this will open up here and you just select which pages you want it on. Now I'm going to do the entire site, which is the default. And if you want to exclude it, you'll just click the exclude button there. Okay, and then click save and close. And now let's go to the front of my website and click refresh. And now you can see this is like so, and it would be aligned in the middle. It's just we've got the bar here. So let's just go back here. Uh, let's just click on col uh, column again. Um, sorry, edit section, back to layout and columns gap. Change that to no gap, update, head back to the front, refresh. 
And yeah, it's because this little navigation bar is here, which is why it doesn't look like it's centered, but it is. Uh, now let's go ahead and create a two section by clicking on this plus sign followed by this here. We want to head over to our uh, sidebar um, elements and just go ahead and click on logo or site logo. If you're applying a site logo, then all you've got to do is go into, um, I'll show you, just quickly go into exit into dashboard, click on this go into appearance, customize. Now it depends on which theme you're actually using, but I site identity and select your logo. And uh, I don't actually have a logo, so I'm just gonna do map masters, select, uh, just go like that. I'm just gonna close my camera because it's glitching. Uh, I'm just gonna skip cropping, publish, head back here. Just um, update this, refresh the page, just so uh, we get everything we need. Uh, click on the site logo again, drag it in, and this should now populate just like so. Um, I'm actually not going to use the site logo, um, so I'm just gonna add an image into there. Click on image. So let's just add this default logo in, change the size um, to about here, and align it to the left like so. So that's now in. And now um, if you hover over these two um, rows or columns, you can actually see uh, this little icon, this draggable icon that appears. And if you just click and hold, you can actually drag um, everything like so. So I'm just going to leave it about there. And now let's go ahead and add the menu in. So if I type in menu, you've got a whole bunch of different menus here and you can do all sorts of funky stuff and what's not. But I'm just going to keep it simple and keep with the nav menu, drag that in. And uh, if you've not already got um, menus, then all you've got to do is go back here, menus, and just add your menus in here and then you would select it here. And then I'm going to align this to the right and let's have a look at what this looks like on a mobile device. So you can actually see it's not the best and what we can do, I want to keep these side by side. So I'm gonna click on this edit column and where it says column width, I'm just going to do 50%. And here I'm also going to do 50%. Uh, now, if I click on this image again, I'm going to align it, style, and then just make it bigger again, okay? And if you want to um, change the style of this, well, all you've got to do is click the edit menu option and you can align it or, you know, however you wanna do. And if we click on style and then the toggle button, you can see you've got the color. So. Now that's changed the actual lines in it to black. And I don't want a background color, so I'm just gonna uh, change the transparency all the way to like so. Um, so what we can, and if you wanna make it bigger, just like just like this, where it says size. Um, and what I'm now going to be, I'm going to click on this edit column, vertical align and middle, and the exact same for this as well, middle. And I don't really like um, how much space is here, so I'm gonna click on the edit column again, and I'm going to change this to about 70, and I'll change the menu one to 30, because it needs to uh, be 100. And then I'm going to click on it again, and once again, just change it. Um, and if we click on it, then you can see it pushes everything down, and we don't really want that. We want this to be full width. So if we go to content and click on full width, you can now see that's perfect. Uh, it's not pushing anything down and the menu actually drops beneath it. And uh, let's go ahead and change um, some of that, uh, the, some of the styling here, okay? So where it says align, I'm going to center because I want the menu to be centered. I'm gonna head back over to style, uh, drop down, and I'm going to make the text a little bigger. And if we want to change the hover background color, click on hover, background color, and let's change it like this. And there you go. And again, if you want to change the text color, you'll just click on that, but I'm going to leave it like so, okay? And oh, of course, one last thing, if you want to do the horizontal or vertical padding, so let's say vertical, 
and you can see just like so if you want to make a full width or just anything really i'm going to keep it like that i think that looks good update head back to desktop and you can see it's now back to normal okay now if you wanted to change the pointer width then we'll just head over here and you can see that's now being changed if you want to add some horizontal padding and again you can see that's now been changed just get rid of that vertical padding again the exact same and space between them just like that okay and if we want to change the um the text of it again just like so and the weight 700 okay so let's just update this and now let's have a look at what it looks like refresh and now we're getting that so what i want to do as well i want to add some padding um hold on a sec i'm not liking this top bar here let's just have another look at it and click text and what's going on ah okay there we go add some uh, blank code in there so i've just got rid of it let's just refresh and there we go okay so we've got that there let's go ahead and add a bottom um underneath it so instead of like adding in a new section and what's not all we can do is uh, click on this right click duplicate and then drag it down just like so and if we want to change the color of it uh, we'll just click on section style uh, go ahead and click on background color and we will just keep it like this and let's go ahead and maybe um you know let's say you wanted to add another menu there so i would duplicate this drag this in like so delete this and maybe align this in the center by clicking align center uh, change the menu to home menu um, style let's change the color to white and maybe change the weight of it to about this and let's go ahead and have a, another look at what it looks like on the front and that's actually looking really good um, and let's have us let's have a look at what it looks like on a mobile let's just click that and you can see this um now shows the menu bar bar and unfortunately there's not unless you're going to create an icon list um with all your menu options it's going to be quite uh, difficult so what we can do we can actually hide this menu so let's click on the section and head over to advanced responsive and we're going to hide on mobile uh, let's see what it looks like on tablet and again um, let's go ahead and hide it on tablet so if we head over and click update go back here refresh and then just double click and what i'm going to do i'm going to shrink my browser so you can see that's actually gone now okay so you can see that's now becoming mobile and really that's how simple creating a custom header actually is um let's go ahead and so if you you can actually apply this to individual pages into really just any any sort of customization that you need to do it's all here so let's have a look at the condition uh, the conditional logic again so if you want to add this to multiple things so um you know so let's just do singular and then front page so whatever you've got your wordpress settings for the front page um so if it's home or shop then that's the only page it will be applied to but also exclude onto the inside entire site or um archives all archives or uh, let's go back to singular and media uh, so really you can customize every single part of your website uh, using this functionality and it's it's just really easy and simple to use you see this in literally no time at all it's taken no effort um, and if you wanted to export this as a template and all you've got to do is click on save options here save as a template um, menu one save let's go here to templates theme builder okay. and then you can click export template here and that will actually export um, uh, export the file so you can give to someone else or sell or however you want to do it and 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 now another way um, to apply your menu 
um, is by taking the short code like this, and let's just go to post, uh, add new. I'm just going to do test and post this in, publish. Let's go here, and there should be two menus now. And you can see you've got your um, main menu. Hold on, why, why is that not like so? Let's just say display conditions, singular front page. And you can see that's actually, this is why. So let's just change this, add condition, save and close. Go back here, refresh. And there you go, you've got your menu, which is actually in the content area, and then you've got your menu here. And you can create some really nifty little designs just using this sort of uh, conditional logic. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you've got any questions or if you want, if you've got any recommendations uh, for new videos, please leave a comment in the description below.